So me. So. Ah, ah. Okay. Hey, careful. Hey, don't pull her, bro. No. Brody. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we are just chilling this morning. We're hanging out. Today is... <laughs> you just want to say something, don't you? Um, yeah, we're just hanging out. Had a good morning so far. I went and worked out this morning. Today's Monday, by the way. Now I'm back with the, with the kiddos. So I don't know what we're going to do today. We're just kind of hanging out. But... Steven and I did a ton over the weekend, and we feel so happy and so productive. Got a lot done around the house, which is great. So I want to show you how I kind of organized some of the toys and stuff this weekend. Um, so we, I, well, not we, I went to Ikea on Saturday morning. So Steven is home with the kids, and we don't really have an Ikea close to us, so... I just ran out there after my workout on Saturday morning and knocked it out by myself and picked up some stuff to organize toys because if you've been watching my vlogs, you probably know that we've been living in like a toy explosion in this main area. And so I was just getting really sick of seeing just primary colors nonstop and having toys lined up around the room. So I wanted to show you what we did because we don't have a playroom. So since we don't have a playroom, we needed kind of a way to house all the toys and keep them more organized and that kind of stuff between out here and in the kids' rooms. So Brody's closet was becoming just completely unmanageable with the toys. So this is providing a really good solution. So basically, I just picked this thing up from Ikea. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is what I got from Ikea and it's just like this organizational thing. I got all of these bins from there as well. And these are such these are so affordable um, compared to like if you go to Target or wherever. Um, so anyway, like in here I have all the balls. So I just did like general thing. Let's see what's in here. We've got some tractors, trains, things like that. And like this is a big tractor. These bins are actually surprisingly big and there's still room too. Then in here... We have like music stuff. So we've got guitar, microphone, drums, shakers, things like that. Then over here, this is Addison's little bin. I guess Steven, or Steven, Brody put his Jesse in here. By the way, he's wearing boots today because he insisted. He's been getting really into Toy Story lately. <laughs> So anyway, so that's Addison's little bin. I, she does have a few other toys I need to open up and put in there. Then down here, we have, like, this is two different bowling sets that he has. Um, Mr. Potato Head. I know that's kind of random, but I don't really, I don't know. There's no category for Mr. Potato Head. Then here we have just another kind of random thing. We've got a truck, airplane, some, like, little lizards and stuff in here. And this is like blocks and stuff. I know that's kind of random, but it's a baby toy. But so we've got like, this is like those matching eggs, stackable bowls, blocks, things like that. So I feel like that kind of all went together. Just pull it out, buddy. There you go. And then here is like a bunch of baby toys. So just younger things like that. So I feel like this is really nice because then it's just so much more organized if I scoot back. And like then he can have like a slide and she can have her little thing but it's not like just taking over the room. And also down the road if I do decide like we aren't really sure like if we want to get a dining room table or not. Um, I don't know, I kind of want one. Steven's like, doesn't really want one because he likes the kids to have the space to play. 
but I feel like it'd be nice to be able to like all sit down and have dinner or when friends come over, have a place to all sit. So I don't know, we're kind of on the fence about that. But what's cool is like, I can always just like move this thing over against like this wall down here um, and move that stuff to have space for a table if we do decide to do that. So it's kind of versatile depending on what we decide. So anyway, so that was like the big thing that we did this weekend. Steven was really happy too that he didn't have to go to Ikea with me. Um, he is not a big fan of Ikea, but I, I actually really enjoy it. I know that sounds so weird, but usually when I go there, I have like a plan for what I'm getting. And so I don't just like aimlessly walk around for like three hours. I just kind of walk in, go through, grab the stuff and get out. So it's not too bad, but that thing, by the way, was so heavy. It was like, I think the package, I looked it up, was like 74 pounds online, and it was just so bulky and heavy, and since I was by myself, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pick this thing up? And luckily, there was like a guy with his family right by me looking at the same thing, and so he put it on a cart for me, and then when I got to my car, there happened to be a guy right next to me with his wife, and I was like, hey, can you pick up the other side of this? So he helped me load it in my car, which was good because I don't think I would have been able to do it. So, um, yeah, so we're really happy with that. And then because I got so many toys pulled out here, now Brody's closet is like pretty, pretty organized. So I'll actually, I'll show you really quick. But um, so it's like such a huge accomplishment because I really like being organized and it's been driving me nuts. Um, that just stuff has been everywhere. So Brody has like this little organizer y'all have probably seen. So he's got miscellaneous toys in there. And here is like his play food and stuff that goes with his grill over here. His workbench tools are down there. And then that's like his little garage where he has just like tons of cars and stuff like that. And then so now when you open up his closet, which I also got, got this for him. So his black cowboy hat goes right there. So like this has been a, a big issue is that like his hats are everywhere because we have nowhere to put them. Um, as you can tell, he doesn't have a dresser. So like all of his clothes are folded in here and then he's got his like t-shirts hung. And so anyways, I just really needed some way to do this. And this whole, this thing right here is $6.99 at Ikea and so it just was so nice and such a good way to like kind of house all of his diapers, wipes, uh, all of his like million hats that he has, his two big hats and then his shoes down here. Up into this point his shoes have been thrown in like one of these baskets and it was like back there I moved it and because of that like it was dark back there so you couldn't ever see the shoes that you were trying to find and it was just like a really annoying system so this is like so much better and then he's got his little laundry hamper and then some of the big toys that whole bin is just stuffed animals it's like brooms things like that and then just some of his bigger trucks and things are back here and then this little basket down here is all of his books which I probably, I, I really need to come up with kind of a better system for that. But for now, at least it's kind of semi-organized. And we can just pull that basket out and then sit around and read books and stuff. Look at him. He's like obsessed with them. It's so cute. It's funny, like, so like I said, he started watching Toy Story and he's gotten really into it. So Steven picked him these little guys up at like Walmart, he was there grabbing some things and he saw those and grabbed them for him. And he has loved it. So he has like the Woody and Bullseye and then Buzz and Jesse. So I'm like really hoping that he gets into Toy Story like more because then he can have like, maybe he'll wanna have like a Toy Story birthday party. I don't know, I think that'd be like really fun. So anyways, so that is kind of like the overview of a lot of like the toy storage organizational setup at this point so um yeah so it feels so nice so clean i'm really happy with it i want to get something cute for on top of there that is obviously not breakable with all the kids but it just looks a little bare but i'm super happy i'm happy with it yeah what are you doing girl <laughs> What 
What are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing good sitting up. Uh oh. Don't fall. <laughs> Just chew on everything. What you doing, bro? I'm gonna go show you Addison's toys. So I, I wanted to quickly show you like how her toys are organized in her room. And since I showed you Brody's. Ugh. Okay, so this thing is normally out there that she uses a lot. She'll sit in this outside of here and sit in her little activity mat, but I just moved it in here so it was kind of out of the way. Um, and then she has these two little baskets. So in here, it's all just stuffed animals and her little baby doll. And then in this one, she has a couple more little stuffed animals and then pretty much all like small toys. Like little teethers and rattles and that kind of thing. So that's like all of her toys. She doesn't really have a ton of toys, like I said. Um... So she has like her little basket out there of her stuff and then those baskets in there. So, and there are a couple other toys, bigger toys in her closet that I need to put in this, like this thing. Um, and I'll do that before too long or whatever. But some of them are like a little bit older than where she's at. So I just haven't put them out yet. So yeah, so it's a good setup. I feel like really happy with how everything is so let me know in the comments though are y'all like do you like going to ikea or not i feel like there's no middle road you either really like it or you don't like it i enjoy it as i said steven does not um and even putting things together he always is like oh but he does it and um and he does always give credit to the fact that their stuff is pretty easy to put together the instructions are good all that kind of stuff so anyways mm -mm. <gasps> you are so pretty look at those pretty eyes so Brody is laying down for his nap which he's still not asleep it's like what time is it let me look 2:45 He's been laying in there since two o'clock and he has not fallen asleep yet. Um, it's kind of crazy. Last week there was, at the end of the week, there was three days in a row that he didn't nap. He just like laid in his bed and talk, like talked and stuff. And then, and then because he went three days, I guess, without napping, then he napped the next two days. And then now today, I don't think he's gonna nap. So I'm like, wow, like I just think it's crazy. Like if we're already at this point where he's gonna start sort of giving up some days of napping, I don't know. Anyways, but we're for sure gonna keep doing quiet time if nothing else. So let me know in the comments, when did y'all's kids start giving up their naps? Um, let me know, how old were they? When they just fully stopped napping or when they slowly started tapering off, all that kind of thing. And she's being super giggly. She's being, she's like so ticklish. I wanna see if I can get her to laugh. Okay, ready? Yeah. 
Does that tickle? Does that tickle? Does that tickle? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <sighs> you are so giggly. Yeah. You so are you so ticklish? Are you so ticklish? So anyway. She and I are just hanging out. Oh, she's grabbing the camera. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> um, what? Yeah, so today, I guess today's little video has been uh, different than most, but just kind of an update on, I feel like all the toy organization and stuff, maybe this will inspire you to get just get organized with your toys if it just gets out of hand it's crazy and now that now that like Addison doesn't have a ton of toys yet but as you know as she has her birthday in a little bit and then Christmas all the toys are going to continue to just compile and like I said since we don't have a playroom there's not like a major designated spot that doesn't feel like it's just like invading on us as well. So I feel like with this, with kind of the sleek white look of everything, having stuff put away, it just really helps to, uh, for us to keep our sanity, sanity and also so that the kids can really find what we have. Because before with it being all just sort of piled in his closet, I feel like it was hard for them to really see what there was for them to play with. So I feel like it's a good, a good setup. So uh, that's gonna be everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.